Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles. I received my Hot Toys City Hunter Predator today. Um, so it's been a pretty good run just before the Easter break with DX11 uh, yesterday and the Takara MP15 and MP16. And now today the City Hunter Predator from Hot Toys. Um, I got the uh, this guy from Pop Culture Superstore here in Australia uh, back uh, in December I think it was when they had their one day 20% off sale. Uh, which applied to all the pre-orders, so um, I snapped this guy up for a pretty good price. Um, and just uh, being an MMS figure, uh, compared to the DX11 that I looked at yesterday, it, it's not even in the same in the same league. Uh, but it's still a nice figure. Um, just quickly go through. Oh, here's the uh, the cover on the box, which has some nice writing on it. Um, nice picture of him but pretty stock standard and there's the box over there and the clamshell it's a pretty stock standard stuff um, the spear that uh, you can retract these um, as you can see there so they're pretty cool and these are pretty sharp actually so just be careful you don't um, pierce your skin um, but it is pretty nice with um, some nice detail there Is bio mask, which is pretty nicely detailed, um, and that cable here is where you plug into the battery pack um, in his back, so you get the light up feature um, through the side there. Get the wide open uh, jaws mandibles. Um, that mask is uh, one that you can put on his face, and this other one is one that uh, he can hold. Um, if you decide to pose him like that, uh, I don't think many people will though. Uh, here's a few more hands, some spare pegs. So, just give you a close up on some of the paint detailing on the hands. It's all pretty nice. And this is the other elbow piece that you can swap out from from that one and um, reenact that scene where he gets his arm cut off. Um, the paint works, so it's not too bad, but nothing nothing really flash. Um, I never got a previous um, Predator 2 figure from Hot Toys, so I never got one of these um, uh, skeletons. Um, so it's uh, the paint detail is pretty nice. Um, if I can focus in on that, so definitely happy to have that. And here's his uh, medical kit, which you can sort of lift that up, and inside you can pull that out and flip the doors open, and there's all those um, medical instruments that he uses to sew himself up. And I think this is the the net gun, and you just with that piece there. I think it just goes on the the leg on that side somewhere. And he also comes with the smart weapon, um, which I'm not sure if I've actually put that on properly. I've just sort of clipped it in place, but didn't try to use too much pressure. Uh, this piece here is feels pretty flimsy and uh, I didn't want to snap that off so I left it the way it is and the figure itself is pretty nice I'll give you a close up of his head sculpt um, the eyes are pretty nice and they really do stand out from um, the sort of dark recesses there in his head and the mandibles, these are the closed ones. Um, the the joint lines are are visible, but they're not too bad. They're probably less visible than um, the classic Predator. So that's not too bad. Um, I'll just put him back on the stand here. And one thing I did notice, the head seems to be pretty loose. I tried to push it on as far as I could, but it still seems pretty loose. Um, you do need to take it off to 
put that little um, bone patch uh, pouch. Um, comes with his metal claws, which are pretty sharp too. Um, he also comes with his um, other gauntlet on that side, which is a nice detail. The dreads are pretty nice too, um, just as nice if not better than the, the classic Predator. Nice detailing there, um, you get his shoulder cannon, which is on uh, this sort of rod that you can see under there. Now the medical kit slides in on the back here and there is a switch under there to turn the light up feature on so overall he's pretty detailed the paintwork um, is okay um, and the mold itself with all the, the various patterns and and so on is, is very nice so definitely glad to have him um, to go with um, the classic Predator I got and that'll probably do me for um, the Predators, I won't get into the Scar or any of the AVP and so on so um, overall with these two um, I think I'm set with the Predator line um, it's a shame they didn't come with a, a diorama um, the head sculpt itself, people I think they say it's, it's not a uh, 100% movie accurate, but I don't think I've really studied the movie too closely. But the paint work is pretty nice, and it and it's differentiated from the um, the classic enough to to see a difference. So that's pretty much the quick rundown. Um, if uh, I gave DX11 a 10 out of 10, or some of the other DX figures like uh, Jack Sparrow and so on, I'd probably give this uh, a seven at most. Um, it's a good figure but I'm um, definitely um, not one that's going to be um, yeah, legendary status in, in years to come. But I'm um, definitely glad to have him in the collection to, to complete uh, my Predator line at least. So I um, hope you guys like that quick look and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.